वेलकम बैक टू माई नदर वीडियो ऑन द चैनल इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू बी रिव्यूंग द न्यू नाइनटी रेटेड प्लेयर ऑफ द मंथ एंड कुम कुम सो ही इज फोर स्टार थ्री स्टार विथ मीडियम मीडियम वर्क रेट्स दिस इज हाउ इज स्टेट्स लुक लाइक आई एम गोइंग टू बी प्लेइंग हिम एज अ फोर टू थ्री वन सी डी एम विथ बैलेंस्ड इंस्ट्रक्शन नाउ विदाउट एनी फर्दर डू लेट्स गेट राइट इन टू द रिव्यू सो स्टार्टिंग ऑफ विथ इज स्पेस He has 88 pace, which for a CM or CDM is more than enough. However, if you play him as a cam with any cam style other than the hunter cam style, you might find him to be a bit slow. Then talking about the shooting, as a CM or CDM, his shooting is very good. For a cam at this time of the year, with the three-star weak foot, his shooting is just not good enough. He has got a good shot on his right foot but if you play him as a cam he will miss crucial chances on that three star weak foot Next up is dribbling His dribbling stats are insane He is really smooth on the ball and because of the four star skill moves the skill moves come off really well His dribbling is good enough to play him as a cam CM or CDM The lean body type also makes him feel a lot better on the ball His passing stats are insane and he does live up to those stats. His normal passes and through balls are very accurate. He can switch the play well and pull off some incredible over the top through balls and I had no problems with his passing at all. His defending is decent. He won most of the tackles he went into. He is one of those midfielders who's a lot better at pressing the opponent and taking the ball off them rather than someone who will drop deep inside the defense and get the blocks in his physical stats are pretty average on paper in game with the anchor camp style he didn't get bullied very easily he put in some solid tackles and was decent at shielding the ball his stamina was absolutely unreal he could move up and down the pitch and he wouldn't get tired easily however he's only 5 foot 10 with a lean body type So you can't expect him to have the presence like a Vieira or Goretzka. So now to sum up the review, he was similar to Foot but the Lima. Lima obviously has the five star skill moves, but other than that they have pretty similar stats. You can also say that he is a faster version of team of the year honorable mentions Bruno. For positions I would recommend you to play him as a attacking CDM or CM because at this time of the game he is not good enough to play as a cam and as a defensive stay back CDM there are just a lot of better options This card has a lot of good things about him like the passing pace agility stamina and so on the only con of this card is his work rate Because of the medium medium work rates as a CDM he's a bit slow to track back. For overall rating I will give him a 8.8 out of 10 and for value for coins I'll give him a 9.2 out of 10. This is because he's very easy to craft from scratch. So should you complete the SPC? Well, if you don't have Bundesliga or French players in your squad then you don't need to complete him. He is not a SBC like Fikir or Koresma who you will regret not doing in the future. If you ever need him in the future, you can just buy his headliners off the market. But if he fits into your squad and you want the attacking CM or CDM, don't hesitate to complete him because he's really good value for the price at which he comes at. However, I wouldn't recommend you to play him as a cam or a stay back CDM. Well that is going to be it for today's video. Hope that you guys found it helpful. I will catch you all in the next one. Have a good day and goodbye.